all getting roosted by a bunch of kids. Feels bad, man. Take a flight to Tobago, FOG down. Hands on the hands, loving down to the sea town. Remo with a ski man, a beamer with the T down. And she wanna know me, tell me, baby, what you need now. Hello, buddy. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Whole fam, I saw no funny. From the veil to the veil, shout out Teddy, that's the tuggies on the same ones. When it come to chats, we don't take nuts. Shit. I'm my Jamaica. Mob until the day come, yeah, till the day come. Red, white, black flag, daddy gon' shake some. Green, yellow, black flag, we yeah, shake some. We don't wanna drop this, so don't make none. Mob until the day come, yeah, until the day come. Say they on smoke. Hey, so I bought a 110. Are they still cool? You see, I bought it for the convenience. But it is a fun bike. Alright everybody, so this coming weekend we've got a race coming up. And I'm actually not going to be racing the two-stroke. I'm going to be racing this. My CRF 110, this is my new machine that you guys are gonna see on the channel i bought it brand new and so far it's been a fun little machine this is a 2023 our 110's dead i don't really know i don't really care because i'm having fun with it i'm actually really surprised that this thing has a fuel light that is super nice come over here this is something else that's really unique it's fuel injected the honda crf 110s are the only fuel injected 110s out there and for this thing being all stock and you know a kid's bike it's actually really impressive with the little bit of power that it has bare essentials that i want to do to this bike is uh right here on this table as of right now i don't see doing any crazy mods at least for a little bit i want to show you what i got here today we're going to be putting on this skid plate it's a tusk skid plate i want to say it was right around 100 bucks one reason why i bought this skid plate over the others is it's got full protection it's going to be sitting something like that and it's actually going to be a lot of protection for the header one thing about the 110s is the header comes straight out the bottom it's very vulnerable to rocks and things of that nature next up that i got on the table i've got throttle tube brake lever throttle cable front brake cable throttle tube brake lever grips and of course the bars i've got the xr50 bend these are the same as the klx bars just a different bend and then i've also got this wireless our meter i really like these wireless ones the way it works is off vibration senses the vibration of the motor actually running and that's whenever it turns on and starts counting mountain dew alcohol i've got this light bar right here i'm gonna sit on the new bars something up in between it'll be up above the number plate something like that so uh i think the handlebars are gonna be the most time consuming i'm gonna start there let's get it all right it's hard to do this one-handed but you can see that i got the new bars in the triple clamps uh, i'm just gonna try to sit in those next to each other like that there's about your difference in bar length length height everything they'd be sitting in the same spot but i can't actually do that obviously so yeah there's your difference in the bars and that's gonna make a huge difference try to get a good view of this ignore the drill we ain't gonna talk about that it's not even gonna come close to hitting my knees there's gonna be a huge difference between tilting the bars forward and honestly like somewhere in here seems to be about perfect so uh we're gonna start throwing things back together all right and this is a little more final product of the mods that i've done to my crf 110 right away one thing that i need to mention is this front brake line right here it came with a longer one this is the oem one the oem throttle cables would not work with the new bars so these are the aftermarket throttle cables they are quite a bit longer obviously i have a lot of slack in here now slack's very needed in the throttle cable for right now the front brake cable this is not a fluid line as you can see here it's got a cable so for right now i'm going to keep the oem cable on here whenever this cable starts getting worn out i'm gonna have a backup we're gonna save that longer cable until then new grips these are not lock-ons or anything i prefer the lock-ons but these came with the kit so also came with a new throttle tube nice and snappy there's a switch for my light bar 
Here is the light bar on. The thing is super bright. Probably looks like the beam's kind of high in the air right now. It is just a floodlight, so it's hard to get an actual beam from it. It's more of a uh, floodlight than a spotlight to where it's shooting everywhere and not just into a particular spot. Next up, here's a look at the skid plate, the fully protected skid plate. Super nice, exactly what I needed. Got a lot of coverage from both sides and as well as being able to sit it on a motocross stand. Next major thing that I need to do to this 110, suspension. That is like probably the first thing I should have done. I'm gonna ride it stock how it is for now, get a feel for it. That way I'm that much more impressed with the aftermarket suspension. And of course I'll have a video explaining everything that I do on it. Look forward to that. I need to still look into what's the most ideal thing for these 110s. I know some people say just replace the spring and the right side fork, but there's also kits that you can just buy a full bolt-on rear shock and change the weight of the fluid that is in here. Um, I don't know what all is really worth it yet, so we'll find out. And if you guys know, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Now it's time to go racing. I wanted to show you the final product of what I'm working with here, so uh, let's go ahead and roll the racing clips, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we look like some goons. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt myself today. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we can't be sending it yet. <laughs> You gotta land back tire first. Holy shit. Dude, these are sick. I don't think, I don't know if we're supposed to be up here, but we made it to the top of the hill climbs on our 110s. Dakota's got a big advantage. Way better suspension, bigger wheels, bigger motor. Still gonna get dusted. Man, my feet keep dragging the ground. That's one thing that's kind of rough. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, this is so scary on a pit bike. Oh, I see you guys. Oh, that ain't you. Hello? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> Bro, we need a pit bike trip. <laughs> Just go to ride the pit bikes on the trails. This trail just kind of disappears.
getting roosted by a bunch of kids. Put your popcorn down, leading forward in your seats because it's time to go racing. Everybody start neutral! Oh! Fist bumped a little dude over here. Gotta show good competition. Green flag is up, they're getting a nod. All riders are ready. Oh! Big wheel! First quarter I got second, and that's not bad, that's a great way to start, but I noticed right away that my tires are sliding a lot more than I thought that they did in the hot laps. <laughs> and that's not an excuse, that's me taking a mental note at the time, because the practice laps were so crowded that I didn't really get to open the bike up. And this is where I get passed. I am now in third, um, still doing pretty good. If anybody was to pass me, I'd rather it be this kid, because he is absolutely shredding up there. As I come up the hill here, listen. I shifted up right there. I'm not on the 500. What are you doing, Corey? Pretty solid in the corner by Dr. Andy Stunts right there. That's a nice little pass, I'll give him that, but I'm not sweating it yet. So the way this works is, this is not the main event of the race. I am currently in the hot laps, also known as the qualifying for the main. So the top three riders of each class went to the main. So all I had to do here was finish top three and I'd go to the main. The hot laps are seven laps and then the main is ten laps. Coming around this corner here, I hit the new line and I pass Dr. Andy Stunts right back. I'm now back in third place. For some reason, I totally did not feel the need to downshift. I just kept clicking up more than anything. Oh, I needed to downshift there. What am I doing? Dr. Andy Stunt starts to pass me and I slide out in this corner just a little bit, but we're still in it. Oh. Andy goes down! <laughs> Checkered flag. That is it. He finished fourth out of fifth. I did not do well at that at all. I hit my knee, kind of hurt. After the race, we were still here to have fun, so we ended up heading back to the trails and messing around on the hill climb a little bit. We're going in front of everybody. Everybody's facing this way. Do some circles. Oh, oh. Alright everybody, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you look forward to more videos on the 110 because we definitely got some more races coming. And next time, I'll take it a little more serious. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to leave me a fat thumbs up. That really helps me out and lets me know. Thank you for watching and until next time y'all. Later.